Please like and subscribe, and you can go to ProPhotoEdits.com where you can download my Lightroom presets and Photoshop actions. So this is going to be real quick today, guys. I just want to take you behind the scenes and turn this image into a black and white. Um, I needed a black and white for a publication, and a lot of people have been asking me um, about my black and whites and how they still have um, a lot of life left in them. But um, I'm going to show you how to do it, and it's already in my uh, like, uh, Photoshop action set. So let's get into it. So real quick, just a little bit of behind the scenes for this, just to show you how I got the shot. Nothing special going on. This um, is a hand-painted canvas from Gravity Backdrops. I have five or six of them, as you can see in the corner. And I'm just shooting from above with a 58 1.4G on a Z7. And I have this panel here blocking the window light. And camera right, I have a ring light that's just doing the lighting. I wanted to keep it simple and just do something a little bit creative. Okay, so let me walk you through a couple ways to get really um, epic black and whites. Um, these work really well for publications and just it's a little more magic and, sp magic and special sauce than your, your typical black and white where you go into Lightroom and just select a black and white or change it to black and white um, as a preset. That's just, that's not the way to go about it in my opinion. I have a way in my action set that um, gives you, you know, better options for things that are just have a hint of something extra going on um so this i'm not i'll do this edit in a different day because there's not really much going on all i did was this is straight out of the camera um z7 58 millimeter 1.4 g and um all i did was put ppe toning set to uh preset four on it and um I um, added some vignette and what I did was I cloned this side to over here. I'll show you how to do it. It's not that hard, but um, that's for a different day. This is just a black and white set. So pull this in over here in Photoshop. So now we're in Photoshop and um, this is a really cool image, right? I, I like the colors. We just shot this on the canvas. Um, Sangati is a, uh, a great model and um, I always enjoy working with her. but. Um, I, I needed something black and white for a, pub, a publication, and um, I've included this uh, JPEG since you don't need the RAW for this. Um, and you want to go over to, I have two different options, and I'll go over both of them here in a second on a separate image. Um, dramatic black and white 1, dramatic black and white 2. On this one, I use dramatic black and white 2 action. And as you can see, there's a bunch of trickery going on in here that I've that I've set. From the blending options on the hue saturation just leaving a bit of a certain color in there um, apply image on two different uh, channel mixers uh, a certain gradient map and another hue saturation that's doing another trick and um, whenever you need a black and white of something I hate it when black and whites are just so sterile and cold and there's too much contrast going on. I mean, you always want to edit your image first. You don't want to just throw this on. This is after the fact. Edit your image, get the colors right, get it the way you want it, and then make it into a black and white. Um, they just really pop. They're, people are always ask me, how do you get your black and whites like that? Well, um, it took a while to figure it out, but this is how I do it. And um, so there's regular I needed a black and white for a publication and there's the black and white um, with just a hint of some special sauce so here let's go into another image so I just did a real quick edit on this um, I didn't even use any preset I just did a quick edit because um, I wanted to show you that you don't always need to go over the top if you have a punchy edit you dodge and burn you fix the skin and everything like that and you just wanted um, a black and white version of the picture that that um, represents you know what you're going for so this is a really cool shot that I like we we're just playing around on a boudoir shoot and um, I just wanted to get creative with the mirror since it had a beveled edge and we got a little bit you know of the face repeating and stuff like that but um, I wanted to really see how it look in black and white so this fly this into Photoshop real quick and um, I'll show you how to do it Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run both of these and then we'll decide what we like better. It's black and white one. Black and white two. I definitely think I like black and white two better on this particular shot. 
and there's I've done s several you know different adjustments in each one depending on how much they both have the special sauce going on but um, each each both of these are, are a little bit different in the sense that that's more of a dramatic deeper blacks which is cool and this one is more of a um, a dreamy look now you can run both and then pull this one way pull black and white one the more dramatic version down and you just bring it in just a touch and you'll still have just a hint it, it plays tricks on your eyes a little bit it's just a hint of color um, I'll group these together it's just a hint of color in the black and white but it's set on a special blending mode and I'm um, only applied to certain parts of the image so when you need a black and white that has just a little bit of something extra to it I can't really put my um, finger on what what it is but everyone always asks me about how to do the black and white thing and uh, make it feel not so sterile and more alive um, and this is what I've been using it's in my action set that you can download from profotoedits.com and I pretty much use this on every black and white that I ever do. It just still has just a hint of something special going on. Just like on this shot we used um, in a dance studio. Nothing but a black background. Um, it was lit with a 60 inch parabolic uh, with a grid. So I could really hone in the light. Almost, it was directly over top of her head. And uh, so you see it just lights the floor. And it um, positioned her in a way so it hit her face a little bit. Edited the image and throw the preset on there. And voila, um, it works well. So much better than just your typical black and white Lightroom junk. So I'll see you guys next in the next couple of days. I have some more cool stuff for you and we'll do an in-depth edit. Alright, see you later.